Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this massive 30-inch monitor. This is the NEC PA301W. So with any large boxed heavy item like this, uh, you might have some cautions. They're recommending that you remove this from the box with two or more people. Also have some specifics here for how to grip the monitor. Just showing that to you guys to uh, let you know that you should not do what I'm about to do. That wasn't terrible. So now our monitor is all unboxed here. I'm going to go over the accessories that are included right quick, starting with this one right here. Oops, I have it backwards. This is a Spectra Sensor Pro right there, and it is a display calibration tool, a physical external one. Uh, this is a 10-bit monitor. It can display 1.07 billion colors. And if you're getting it, you're probably going to be doing some sort of content creation in the professional realm. And to do that, you will want to have the best color uh, recreation possible. So you can use this uh, Spectra Sensor Pro to calibrate the monitor to display all the colors accurately. It comes with this Spectra View 2 color calibration system software. You install that and run it to make sure everything is displayed properly. Uh, here you have some VESA mounting screws. Uh, it has two VESA mounts on the back, 100 by 100 millimeters and 100 by 200 millimeters. Next up are our power cables. We have multiple power cables. Uh, so here's your standard United States version power cable right there, AC adapter. And then we also have some international compatibility here as well. Uh, so this little two-prong guy I believe is for the European Union. Uh, this is a 16 amp, 250 volt cable right there. Uh, this one here in the middle, I am not personally familiar with, but if you use these types of plugs, you'll probably recognize that. Uh, this is a 10 amp, 250 volt AC cable. And then finally here, this one, uh, which I believe is for the UK, uh, at least according to Rachel, that's what she says. We'll blame. Uh, okay, yeah, she says, yeah, that's right, this is UK. Uh, so, and for this one, this is a, wait, I had a second ago, 5 amp. It's a 5 amp, 250 volt AC power cable, so international use right out of the box. You can get all your power cables. Next up we have the LCD software and documentation on that disc right there for a variety of the NEC displays. Declaration of conformity for the types of materials used in the display. Some other documentation here such as the um, multi-profiler. You can go ahead and download that to set up different color profiles for the monitor. And then you get your fold-out uh, user's manual with instructions for installing, plugging in, properly orienting everything on there. Lots of information there in different languages. And uh, I should also mention, included some warranty information in there, and this does have a four-year manufacturer's warranty from NEC. Now here are your uh, display adapter cables that are included. You get a dual link DVI to DVI cable right there for typical connection to a computer. Uh, you get a USB cable here, so USB uh, male B to male A, and that's to plug in. Uh, this has a built-in USB 2.0 hub on it you can use to connect there. And then finally, you get a DisplayPort connector. Here's a closer look at that Spectra Sensor Pro, just to give you guys a vague idea at least of how it works. Uh, it's got this little diffuser here on the top, so you can use that to measure ambient light, or you can flip it around backwards to measure the emissive light of the panel itself. Also along the cable here, there is a counterweight, and you use that so you can uh, position this in front of your monitor. And then of course, USB plug right there that you plug into your computer and run the software. So um, there's some foam padding right there, and essentially to set this up, you simply drape it over the front of your monitor like so, position it in the center, and make sure that that foam padding is making contact with the panel, and then you install and run the software on your computer. And here's a closer look at the PA301W itself. Again, 30 inch panel, so measured corner to corner here, you get 30 inches. It is 29.8 inches of usable LCD screen space there after accounting for the uh, bit of bezel overhang. Uh, it will display 2560 by 1600 resolution. You get a 178 degree viewing angle, uh, 0.251 millimeter pixel picks pixel pitch, I should say. Uh, again, this is a 10-bit panel, which means it can display 1.07 billion colors. It's got 350 candela per meter square brightness and 1,000 to 1 contrast ratio. And I have to say uh, props to NEC for actually giving 
a reasonable contrast ratio and not some overinflated number. Uh, finally, response time of 7 milliseconds gray to gray. And uh, let's also take a look at some of the adjustment features. You do, of course, get easy height adjustment, particularly for a monitor this big. It's uh, very smooth to uh, adjust the height. You can also, of course, uh, do your uh, swivel adjustment like this, left to right, and it will go about that far on either, on either side. Uh, you get tilt adjustments. Let me move it sideways here first of all. So you can do a bit of a negative tilt that direction or you can tilt it back that far. And then finally, another feature that you rarely see on monitors this size, make sure I do it the right way, is pivot. So you can actually pivot it that way and put it into portrait mode. Around here on the back you can see there are two very conveniently placed handles that you should use when lifting this monitor. Uh, very handy particularly since it is a bit heavier than your typical monitor. Oh wait, I did also want to show here on the back, uh, you have a, lo a latch there, so when you have it in its lowest position, you can lock it into place or just drop it down uh, a little bit and switch that latch to the left to unlock and you can do the height adjustment. Also around here on the side, we wanted to take a look at our uh, inputs and whatnot. Uh, all the way at the top up here, there is a, your AC adapter. Plug, so that's where your AC cable goes in. There's a Kensington lock right here, which isn't much to look at, but just trust me, there's a Kensington lock right there. And then down here you have all your various display inputs. Uh, so for the higher resolution, uh, you're definitely going to want to go with a dual link DVI or display port connection, and that is what is available right here. Uh, so you got two dual link DVI inputs and two display port inputs. And finally over here is your USB hub. You get two inputs here in the form of USB male B connectors. Uh, and then you can plug in, that will enable this hub right here, which has two USB ports on it. And then there is a third USB port from your USB hub. So uh, just flip the monitor around so it could actually give you a look at that. And uh, did also want to show you guys the controls here on the front. So down here in the bottom right corner, uh, you have a power button, of course, uh, with LED lights indicate power and standby. Uh, you also get an input button there to switch between your various inputs. Menu button to pull up the menu, and then uh, left and right, as well as up and down arrow keys to navigate through your menu options. Finally, this button here, which uh, can enable eco mode. Now, if the 30-inch panel does not fit within your budget or maybe just doesn't fit on your desk, uh, I would like to also let you guys know that NEC makes a 27-inch version of this monitor that is the PA271W multi-sync uh, from uh, NEC, and that displays a resolution of 2560 by 1440. does also come with a color calibration unit. Most of the specs are the same, but you can check that out. Uh, also available in a 24.1-inch version, model number is PA241W, and the resolution for that one is 1920 by 1200. And that's going to wrap it up for this video on the NEC Multisync PA301W 30-inch monitor. Before I close, I did want to mention what type of LCD panel is in this monitor, because I usually say that. It is a PIPS monitor, which is professional IPS, 30-bit panel, 10 bits per pixel, 1.07 billion colors. That said, I am Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel, where you can find more tech videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.